Hello everybody and welcome to the 7th episode in our CSGO multi-hack series. Today we're going to be making a trigger bot. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Atom and we're going to create our file. So we're going to go here and all these tabs out. New file. And then I'm just going to save it as triggerbot.py. Once we're in here, we're going to import pymem import pymem.process and we're going to import keyboard and yeah that's it so next up we're going to do our offsets so when you're using my offset dumper you can use his dumper or whatever I'm just going to launch it and it dumped all my offsets for me so I'm just going to drag my python file here and then uh, the first offset we're going to need is dw entity list so you can just copy that Paste that over, and then we're going to need uh, DW Force Attack. Make sure it's DW Force Attack, uh, just normal, not DW Force Attack 2. Um, and then we are going to be doing uh, DW Local Player. Paste that over, and then we're going to be doing um, M underscore I crosshair ID. Just copy that and paste that over. And the next one is uh, um, underscore i team on. And then the last one is going to be m underscore f lines. So do this m underscore f lines. Alright, since we have that, we can go into our <coughs> main function that's main, and then pm equals pymem dot pymem csgo dot exe alright and now we can make our client variable which is going to be equal to pymem dot process dot module um, underscore name pm dot process underscore handle comma client dot dll and then dot lp base of dll all right so now we have this we can go into a while true so while true and then we're going to be doing our local player so this is not the same as dw local player um, because we're going to be adding our client to it so uh, local player is going to be equal to pm dot read underscore integer and then we're going to be adding client to dw uh, local player um, so once we have that we're going to do a crosshair id so crosshair id so similar to this one to the local player one we are actually um, just taking this uh, we are adding our uh, client no actually we're adding our local player to it sorry um, so that way we can get our own Crosshair ID. Um, so we're going to do local player plus crosshair ID. All right. Now we're going to do get team, and this way we can uh, see uh, if it's the counter terrorist team or the uh, terrorist team. That way we can find our local team and the enemy's local team, or the, sorry, the enemy's team. Um, that way uh, it will only shoot on our enemy's team. So we're going to do pm.readintegr, and then we're going to be doing client plus dw entity list, and then we're going to do plus, and then in parentheses, crosshair id minus 1, and then we're going to multiply that by 0x10. And now once we have our get team done, we can go on to our local, uh, local team. So local team is going to be equal to pm.read underscore integer local player plus m underscore i team on. So this way we can find out what our player, uh, what team they're on. So now we're going to do the other team, so the enemy's team. So I'm going to call it crosshair team. This is going to be the enemy team. Um, let's call it crosshair team because that's the one that the crosshair is going to shoot on. Um, so crosshair team is going to be equal to pm dot read underscore integer get team and then plus m underscore i team on. Once we have this, we are going to go on to actually uh, writing um, our process memory. So we're going to do if crosshair ID is greater than zero and crosshair ID is uh, less than 32. 
and local team is not equal to crosshair team, then we are going to uh, left click basically. So what this is saying is if our crosshair ID is greater than zero, and if our crosshair ID is less than 32, and our local team is not our crosshair team, meaning we will not shoot at our local team, then we will shoot. So basically this is just checking to make sure that we are shooting at our crosshair team, not our local team. So now we're going to do pm dot write underscore integer client plus dw force attack and then comma six. So once we have that, we are going to be um, doing our underscore underscore name. So just calling our main function underscore underscore name and then just call our main function. And um, since we imported keyboard, we can just add another quick little um, uh, if keyboard dot is pressed, uh, end check here. So we can just exit zero. So our kill key. It's that is supposed to be um, m underscore crosshair id. Sorry about that. And Python trigger bot dot All right. So as you can see, it's not shooting at our teammate. So um, it's not shooting our teammate when I'm hovering over him. But when we hover over our enemy team, it shoots.